Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Setre. If this is the first time you are watching my video, do not forget to subscribe before you go away. I hope everyone is doing well. So today's topic, I'm going to be talking about IELTS for carers or skilled workers because I have had several people asking about what IELTS they have to write, what score they need to achieve. So what happened was during the week I emailed uh, British Council regarding this question. They haven't been straightforward with the answers I wanted but I will tell you what they replied to me. So uh, what they said was that um, the organisation you are applying to will be able to tell you what their entry requirements are, which is rightly tr true because if you're applying to, to study or to work, they would be able to tell you what their requirements are. Now we are talking about IELTS for carers or care assistants or senior carers. So um, I have looked at some of the things they've sent to me. So they did say um, they attached or sent me a link of a table where you can see the different um, types of skills and the types of IELTS scores they need to score. So I'm going to be attaching one, um, the table to the description. So you need to be looking at the description for all these links so you can look at it yourself. I'm going to be sharing a link which they sent to me as well, uh, free IELTS preparatory webinar. So those of you who are planning to write or who wants to rewrite and all that, there is a preparatory uh, webinar that they normally do. So you can go on there and see if you can join and see if that would help you. So it says free anyway. The next link I'm going to add would be an IELTS Facebook link and apparently you can chat with them um, and ask questions to the experts, um, IELTS experts and they would be able to help you with your questions and they normally do this uh, Facebook, Facebook chats on Fridays 10.30 GMT which is Greenwich meantime so you can look at that another link i'm going to be adding is a link for ielts progress chat it's an official online practice test which you can do so those of you who have been trying and you haven't got any preparatory um thing to use resources to help you prepare for your ielts the link would be there so look at it read my description so you'll find all these links there now when you're applying as a senior carer or care assistant or a skilled worker to the uk they want to make sure your knowledge of english uh, should be level b1 on the european common european framework for languages scale now there is one aspect of it which is like gcse a level but that is normally for people who have studied and done um let's say their studies like gcse a levels in the uk so i'm not going to be talking about that for those of you overseas who are trying to apply and come and work here as skilled workers in the uk there are two options you have to look at one of the options is if you have a degree which has been taught in English so an academic qualification that has been taught in English um, and this has been studied abroad you need to apply for confirmation that your qualification is equivalent to UK degree and you do this application through UK NARIC so NARIC which is N-A-R-I-C has now changed to ECTIS, is E-C-C-T-I-S. Uh, I'll put the links there as well. So you have to apply through them and they are going to be uh, checking to confirm 
whether your um, qualification, degree qualification or above, which has been taught in English overseas is equivalent to UK um, degree level study. And with that, if you're able to prove that, then you don't need to do IELTS. Now, this topic I'm talking about today has nothing to do with nurses. This is only care assistants or senior carers. Um, so those who are thinking about the English requirements, this is one of them. So for the IELTS now, I've come to your answer now. For the IELTS, what you need is um, IELTS for UKVI, general training or academic. This is accepted. So they accept for senior carers or care assistant, they would accept IELTS for UKVI, academic or general training. This is what skilled workers can have and they would test you on listening, reading, writing and speaking and you have to score overall 4.0 which is 4 and you should score 4 in each of the different skills as well so in uh, reading 4, listening, score 4 in all these skills that is fine so the answer I have got after checking so just to recap if you're an overseas staff wanting to work as a skilled worker in the UK, not a nurse, not doctor or the others, they have their own requirement. For senior carers or care assistants, your English requirement, how you can achieve that, two options. One, either you have had or you've studied or you've got a qualification that has been taught in English and you can apply to NARIC to confirm that your qualification, your degree qualification is equivalent to UK degree, then you don't need to write the IELTS. However, if you haven't got a qualification, a degree or above qualification that has been taught in English, then what you need to do is to write IELTS for UKVI, academic or general training and both of these any of them would be accepted and you need to score overall four and you need to score four in each of the different aspects listening reading writing and speaking and if you do this you should be fine and as i said i'm going to be adding the link to the description so look at it as well um, I'll try and see if I can do a screen recording and I'll show you as well but if I'm not able to do that it doesn't matter as I said this is what you have to do go on the links I'm going to be adding and have a look at it yourself and I hope this should help and I hope this should answer your English language requirement questions um, if it doesn't just get back to me but it's as simple as that you need ukvi um, ielts for ukvi academic or general training and you need to score overall of four um, and four in each aspect as a senior carer or care assistant or a skilled worker wanting to come and work in the uk as nurses you need to go to NMC website and see what their requirements are. So it's completely different. I hope this has been helpful. I'm going over and over the same thing only because I want everybody to be able to, wherever you pick up from, you should be able to get the message out there. Um, and I hope this would help you as well. Wishing you all the best. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. And... I hope you would look forward to watching another of my videos next week. Take care of yourselves and stay happy. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. Uh, so as I said, I'm just going to show you how to find which UKVI um, IELTS you want or which score you need for your, your visa. So. I've just typed into takeielts.britishcouncil.org uh, slash take dash ielts slash which dash 
IELTS dash test slash UKVI slash score. It just take, takes you to where. So basically, we're just going to find out which UK IVI score you need for your visa for IELTS. So when you go through, here we are. So uh, we have different. So it says here the IELTS test you take and the score you need will depend on both your visa requirements and or the requirement of the institution where you plan to study or work. So here we are. So we've got a visa description, the minimum um, requirement that you need, you your skills and the IELTS and the minimum score required. So you can see here the first one here is innovator. They need B1 and you will see the scores they need. I'm just going to go straight to what we need for a skilled worker or uh, formerly known as tier two general work visa. So this is for us. So here we are. So for skilled worker visa, you need to have a total score, common European framework for languages. You need to score B1 overall. Um, so that's what you need. You, the minimum level should be B1. And then in listening, reading, writing, and speaking, you need IELTS for UKVI, you, you need a score of 4.0 overall and in each of the four skills. So in the skills like listening, reading, writing and speaking, you need to score four in each of them and overall four. So that's all you need. The rest is for people like um, Minister of Religion, students, so students with tier two, and they need to do IELTS for UKVI and they need overall 5.5. But as I said, I'm not going to be talking about student, I'm talking about skilled worker visa. So basically, I'm going to be attaching the link anyway. So hopefully you would be able to um, look at it yourself and see. But that's it really. I hope it helps. <laughs>